Well, hello again, and uh, welcome back. Well, hopefully, welcome back. So this is the last of five, uh, five rolls of nickels that I was able to get from the bank, and uh, let's see what we uh, what we got in here. Um, if anything doesn't get posted, it's because they were junk. Um, any of the rolls, I know for sure one of them is definitely going to get posted. There was a what the hell? Okay, and we got tossed around a little bit. You know, and their uh, money security guards are <laughs> maybe they're a little, a little loose with the punishment on the coins. You know what I mean? Uh, I like the look. I like the look. It's uh, it's pretty exciting to me. Uh, both when I open something up and it's super, super shiny because then I know it's all the same thing. And uh, it's easier for me to, to really look through it and go, okay, there's a difference here, there's a difference here. But it's really exciting when it's all different. Um, and you can tell just by looking at the edges. Um, so this one here, uh, yep, the one, the first one that I picked up right in the middle there that one's got a little bit of a different color to her but just a, just a little bit and then this guy here that guy is a little rough just a little rough and you can see it but this thing here is really shiny this third from the end really shiny so we'll see what we got take a look maybe we got something maybe we don't but we'll find out sorry sniffle uh 1986 that is a 1986 p is that a p dirty yeah that's a p Very nice. 2012D. I don't think this is the... Oh, maybe it was. The one that was just a slightly different color. 1973D. Uh, yeah, a little bit. So let's see here, we got what, three? Three, yep, yep, it's right there. You can see here, it's that one right there, that's the one. So we'll get rid of those three again. Just want to make sure I wasn't losing track. So here we got a 1990D in blah, blah, blah shape. Wow. 26 or 2006 D 2016 D oh okay there's the one there's that slightly different color and it is because she be filthy that is a dirty dirty nickel um, it's just got that that turn your turn your finger the different color stuff whatever that stuff is but it's on there this is a, a 1980 it looks like a D Let's see if I can get a slightly better slightly better come on babe This is not something I'm going to be able to see without a loop. It does look like a P to me. Um, but, yeah, not something that uh, 
that I really need at the moment. Um, 90 is not a thing. 2008, on the other hand, that would be nice. Uh, 2008P. Uh, also, both of the 9s. Both of the 2009s would be awesome, also. Uh, 1962, 1971. Uh, as well as the splattering of all the different... Um, 30s to, to 1961. Um, so this is 1990 uh, And again, nothing too special. You know, because you can see here in the... Uh, as far as the older coins go, I mean, I've got, what, uh, seven if you count the 2022s, which is the year that this is being shot in. However, uh, all the stuff that was from the from 38 to... So 1961, got quite the gaps. Um, so that, that's the big boy. That's the one that uh, that's going to take a little while to go through and uh, and actually get fill. Um, let's face it, it's just uh, how it is. So this is a 1981. I think I'm a little off. So it's a 1981 P. Wow. A few P's in here. 2019D. No. Real shiny. 2016D. 2016D. Uh, there's a 2020D. Not too great. Whoa. That's a 2005. Fairly dirty, looks like tape or something. No, it's, I don't know, it's a pretty straight line. So this has the buffalo. Um, so I've set a couple of these aside because I don't know what the speared buffalo looks like. Um, I haven't got a clue. So um, I'm actually going to have to uh, look that one up um, just, to, just to double check. Um, and I get, I'll be doing that after uh, after I get done on this video. So, I don't know if anybody can see. I'll zoom in just a little bit and see if I can get a good angle on this. Um, if you're able to see right off the bat, feel free to uh, chime in. But uh, I'm going to have to look it up. Um, said this is a beginner hobby for me so um, I'm looking up a lot of stuff so there's that and I got a 2015p nope nope and 2019d nope but 2018 is the is one we're, we're looking for and that's got a rotated uh, rotated die so I don't know if I'll ever find one of these uh, 1999 and that is a D Ooh. here I have 2014D Nope, nope. 2016 D. 2000 D. Ha ha ha. What is this? Is this a. I'm always finding the 64s. Is this a 64 here? It looks... Yep. There we go. It's a 64. We got Denver. We do. So, almost every time, almost almost every roll, going to find one of these things. Um, 1964 was a big year. Big year. They, got, they were super excited about 
rolling out nickels in 1964. It was a big deal. This is something that looks like it's been on fire. It just, ugh. Looks like it was on fire. So this is a, a 1991. And it's from Denver. I'll go from one that's been on fire to one that's been sunk in a sunk in a, a tank of water for some period of time. That's a 1988, and I am unable to see the, the mint mark on it. Um, it's irrelevant because I ain't keeping the thing. What else? 2017D. Okay, 2019D. Ooh, 2018. Let's see if we got our first rotate. Let's see if we got it. Uh, uh, nope. That is spot on. Spot on. Up and down. So, not rotated. As far as I know. Yep, that's all I got. That's all I got there. What else? That is a 12D. There's an 11P. I don't think there's anything up with them. That is a 1990D. Getting cheeky, huh? Getting cheeky. I have a 1992D. Oh, really beat up. And 1991P. Again, those early 90s. 80s, 70s, all got that real, real cool looking clad to them. Well, I guess that's, uh, that's the end of that. And we got about, what, eh, 45 cents left. So we'll start with that super, super dirty one. It is the boat. Not entirely sure what that is called. I believe that's an 04. Not that I can see it. Um, yeah, that's 04. And that is a P. As far as that's what it looks like on on my end without grabbing out the loop. Uh, bye bye. I'm tired of looking at the dirt. 19. Oh, 1955. Very cool. The oldest one I found in these uh, in this little set of bankrolls. Um, 55D. Let's see, uh, let's see what we're looking at here. Holy crud! You have got to be kidding me. That is awesome. So, uh, oddly enough, 1955, the year my dad was born. Um, there's the, there's our mint mark right there, just shimmy on up, as long as you can see the mint mark, shimmy on up here, so we got 1955s, no mark, 1955D, 19... 55D. So, there you go. Cool. We finally got to do one. Only took us, only took us 10 bucks worth of nickels, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You know, that's that right there currently is why I'm why I go through so many coins. Uh, because it's a lot of fun. That is awesome. 
Ah, that feels good. Let me just revel in it for a minute. Uh, okay. Get back where anybody can actually see what I'm doing. So this is a 1979. 1979 with no mint mark. And we already know we don't need that. And so here we got a 1990D. Not needed. 19 or 2021. 2021D. Very, very, very shiny that guy is. Here we've got us a 1994D. Fourteen D. Okay. And our last, our very last one is a nineteen eighty nine D. A little bit of corrosion going on. A little bit of bicolor. Wow, that's almost looks like a sunset. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but from my angle, what I am getting. <laughs> okay, that's different. So from my angle, what I'm getting is the bottom right underneath is one color from like there down is one color and everything up above is just a slightly dingier color. Almost looks like uh, a sunset. Almost looks like a sunset. Um, it, yeah, it's real hard to see here. But it kind of doesn't matter to me. What I what I what the shine does it, it still keeps that kind of color so who knows anyways that's all I got for uh, for this little episode and I hope you all enjoy it keep coming back thank you